So what do you, how do you feel about that uh, departure? Was that about as close as you'd want to be there? I wouldn't want to be much closer. is Fairmont. That's correct. And so we should make our radio call here? Before that, let's run through, make sure yep. everything's where it needs to be. All right. So I start here, Jumbo. remember the first question mark. Yep, trim for takeoff, flaps are up, mixture is full rich, throttle car heat is in, lights is selected. Yep, and everything else is good. Seatbelts and transponder. Great. So just verify, pull on that primer, make sure it's not, make sure you got it locked in all the way. Good. Yep, it's in. All right, I didn't see you lock it. That's yeah, the only reason I had to check. Um, all right, so there's no, we'll give a little takeoff brief. So again, it is high density altitude day and this little girl didn't like to climb early in the morning. So it's probably gonna be, we can probably expect it to be a little worse today, which is concerning, okay. but uh, not enough to make us not go. So we do have that little berm at the end of the runway. If we're not at rotation speed by like a thousand feet, we're aborting. And we'll just have to, you know, call it quitsos for the day just yep. because it's a limitation of the airplane and that's just kind of how things roll. Okay. Um, anytime, there's always be a positive exchange of control. So if I ever call for the airplane, I'll say my controls and then uh, and do the, you know, the three-step deal. Yeah. But relinquish them as quick as you can. Yep. Uh, standard takeoff, except we're going to do static today. We're going to go full power run up, let her get her, you know, bearings about her, and then we'll come out and rotate at our normal... Uh, 60 okay. knots is what it says. Yep. Let's try climbing at 80 miles per hour Okay. just to see if we can get an extra 100 foot or so minute sure. out of her. Any questions? I uh, don't believe so. All right, so in the case of the abort, power go to idle, maximum braking, and then you'll pull back on this all the way. It's called uh, aerodynamic braking. It okay. actually slows us down even more. Roger. Uh, should we need to go somewhere else, we've got I-79 as, a, as our alternate landing point. Okay. So... No questions asked. Good. I think we're good. Well, I think we're good. All right. Just Should we good? Not to be pessimistic, but we're going to go through that stuff. So. Absolutely. No. All right. Thank so when that. we're ready, let's go. All right. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 385 to Lima is taking runway 23 for departure. Fairmont. Which yeah, way we'll, are we going? we'll depart to the east or west this time. Probably should, uh, probably should uh, take the brake off. Huh? Yeah, that'll help. That'll help us go a little bit better. Brakes released. Everything set. Here we go. Yep. We'll use every inch of runway. So just. Just watch your strut on the lights, but try and put that wheel as close as you can to the grass. Okay. Yep. You don't have to do it now, just once we get out here yeah. toward the center of the runway. Good. And Fairmont traffic, 5-2 Lima will be a westbound departure. Okay. Okay. Yep, hard right turn, lots of right, little power. Hard right, yep. Little power, a little more. Hold that right brake in. Yep, kind of Tap it. All right, let it pull the power back. Full power? Yep, pull it back. And let's center ourselves up here. Okay. Square everything up. Let's check your instruments. I saw that the heading's not been set. That one's right there. Yeah, yeah I had to line that up right quick. Oh, uh, yeah. Should have checked that before now. That's all right. Two, three. All right. Ready? Don't feel rushed. Take your time. We've got plenty of time. I am ready. All right. 10 20. Here we go. Here Full we go. power, Full hold power. the brakes, yep. Brakes in. Make sure we get about 23, 2400 RPM. Right at 23 ish, that's good. So let's go. Off the brakes. Lots of right rudder. She is lucky. Air speed to live. live. Good. 40 knots. See the end. Oh boy. We got time. See the ends of those yellows? 50 knots. All right, we're coming up on rotation with plenty of time. 60 knots and Good. rotate. Yep, hold her up. Yep. Hold it right there. Aim for 70. Or, sorry. Aim right here. We got plenty. We're 70. Going to make it. There we go. 75. Hold it. Right there. Perfect. 80. Oh, right aileron. Good. 
<laughs> yeah, man. That is a. That is a short field. We could, uh, yeah. Yeah. 85. Yeah, aim for 80. Pitch up a little more, right there. Then remember, use that trim to help you out. Okay. That'll get squeak us in a couple hundred feet per minute. Looks like it. Man, it's really getting us up there. So just aim pitch for 80. Pitch up for 80. Yeah. There's 80. Yeah. Oh. So set your trim. Trim it out for 80. There you go. Good. Let's keep climbing straight out here. Maybe okay. turn to the left a couple degrees. Fly right over Walmart. Okay. We have level the wings now. Look back at your runway out the back window. See where the runway's at? Oh yeah. So we need to be over pretty much on the center line, even over here. You still have to hold back on the stick, or you? Uh, yeah, a little. I'll right. trim some more. Go ahead, trim it. A little more. A little more. Right there. Maybe a little less than that, but that's fine. Just feel what you. There you go. Great. All right. All right. Once we get to a pattern altitude of 2,000. Ten minutes later, we'll start to turn out here to the west. Okay. Yeah, she does not like to climb. We got to definitely try to do less fuel. Yeah, I think that'll help us big time. And I want to have Josh look at that left set of magnet or left set of spark plugs. Uh, see if they're dirty because they are dropping down to the down to the limit. Yeah. Engine instruments are all in the green still. Carbs and temps looking good. So I don't, I don't know if I told you, this thing is super susceptible to carb ice. Yes, sir. So anytime it's in the yellow or you're below 2100 RPM, you should get that carb heat on. Yes, sir. All right. Well, Almost you're there. ready, yep. Go ahead and just call Fairmont Traffic. Say we're departing the pattern to the west. Fairmont Traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima, departing the pattern to the west. Fairmont. Good. They want to depart the yep. west. So don't turn right until you're above pattern altitude. You can turn left because it's a left-hand traffic. See. I see. Go ahead and start. Turn me at about a 300. 300. Zero, zero. Yeah. Little right rudder, a little more. Good. Make it a 330. 330. Three, yeah. Good. Now you can resume climb at 85. I think we're up high enough now. To... Stay on that right rudder. This has an old attitude indicator up. Not seeing one like that <laughs> without without tick marks on it. Yeah. It's definitely not quite as uh, smooth in the middle of the hot afternoon, is it? Nope. Yeah, we're definitely going to get tossed around a little bit today. You can see the more vertically developed your clouds are, the more uh, the vertical lift is going to be I see. Uh, aspiring. Yeah, what was the Hobbs? 1.8 when we started? That's right. Sounds right. I forgot 1.7 1. technically. Okay. Was it 1.7? Yeah. Okay. Hear that, Jay? He's taking care He's of it. for every tenth. That's right, every penny. Every tenth. <laughs> yeah. All right, coming up on 3,000. Once we get 3,500, that'll be where we do our maneuvers at. All right. She does pretty good once she's out, but even then, you know, it's this is about like our mic model. It does similar performance. So, what do you? How do you feel about that uh, departure? Was that about as close as you'd want to be there? I wouldn't want to be much closer. Um, it felt a little tight. It was fairly tight. Um, yeah, so burning it down to half fuel would definitely be uh, Our traffic is going on. a nice plus. Okay, pull that back a little bit. Can you hear that good enough? Yeah, he was really screaming. Yeah, he was Myers. breaking out pretty bad though. I didn't under, I didn't get what he said. Yeah, just volume wise. Yeah, volume was fine. Okay. 
great. Well, here we are over lovely Mannington. No, Monaga. Sorry. Monaga. Monaga. Twisher Hill. Cool. And once we get up here, 3,500, we'll do a, see, nice little thermal there. And it, it yeah. likes 80 better than it does 85, it seems like. Feel it? Yeah. You just feel how much more it wants to do at 80? Yeah. So we might uh, play around with that a little bit. See if we can find one a nicer VY. I want to turn them down. If anybody's near Fairmont, it'll come through pretty nice and clear. Okay, that's good. Give me a uh, 90 degree turn to a heading of 060. 060. Zero zero. Yep, we'll clear for traffic. Good. About 30 degrees of bank, closest as we can get to it. Yep, looking for people, looking good. Nice coordinator, start rolling it out about now. Nice. Man, right on altitude, like I don't even have to do anything. Try it. And you can pull power back a little bit. 23, 24. Let's try 2300. Uh, up a little more. Right there. We can lay around a couple swipes. Help with the consumption. All right. Now we can do another one. Let's go to the left, another 90 degrees. Roger. And we'll look for something to do your choice of steep turns and or stalls on. Alright, turn to the left. A little high, so just let that nose down a fuzz. There you go, a little slow as well, but once you let the nose down, it'll come right back up. Great. Alright, so pitching up a little bit. Great. And it pitched up because it's probably still trimmed to climb, so you might have to trim it down some. Great. Alright. Let's find us something to do some steep turns off of. There's a giant old smokestack down there. Let's use those. So area is cleared. All right. You can turn taxi light off as well. We don't really need it far right. There you go. All right. Let me get my sight picture set up. Yeah, here. go ahead. Take your I'm time. I'm just trying to get used to see what I'm seeing. Like yep. that's definitely nose down. Okay. All right. I feel better about that. Great. All right. All right, so we want to turn to the smokestacks? Yep, turn into the smokestacks. Not a steep turn, right? Just line no, up just, with them. Yeah, yeah, just line up with the smokestacks. 20 to 30 to degrees of bank. For a landing, 1,560 feet. Great, fill in the rudder in your tush. County traffic. Yep, we'll use that as our waypoint to roll in and out off of. So that's 90 knots. That's our maneuvering speed, I believe, right? It is close to 90? Yes. Yeah, uh, 90, 95. I'm sorry, 100 mile an hour. Yeah, 90 knots, 100 mile an hour. That works. All right, so here we are at 100 miles per hour at 3,500. Okay. On a 210 facing the stacks. Turn to your right, maybe five to 10 degrees, just to line them up, put them square down the middle of the nose. About okay. right, uh, right about there is dead center. Okay, so 20, let's say two, 220. 220. When so you're ready, Okay. We may begin the steep turn, so remember, roll in, add a little power, two swipes of trim to 30 degrees. Roger. Let's go left. All right, left. All right. You ready? Yep, clear left. So left, steep, left steep turn. Yep. Here we go. Yep, one, two, a little bump of power. Bump that power on up. Might have to go up a little more. Great. Look at that altitude. Great. Keep yeah, those wings up there at 45. Real good. Um, Looking good. Hold it right there. Uh, roll it out a little bit, a little too steep. There you go, bumping around a little bit. The bump's getting you still? No, I'm used all right. Okay. Alright, right, pull up a little bit, a little back pressure. Yep, there he is feeling geez. Ooh, yeah. A little, right, little fast, it we're a little fast. Right, you're good, just reduce the power. Just a little bit, here comes our stacks, yeah, no, roll it out. Raw to right rudder, uh, perfect. That'll be good actually. And then pull those down trim, and pull that power back. Yep. All right, well, back a little more. Like there's some boomers. That's it. To the standard. All right. Second time doing it. All right, back to the right when you're ready. Here we go, ready. Clear yeah. right. To Nobody. the right. To the right. To the right of the Morgantown Mall. All right. Here we go. And one, two. two. Little nudge of power. About 100 RPM or so. That's good. Watch that altitude. Let her nose down. Roll a little more bank in. That's why it didn't quite 
That's why you're gaining yeah, altitude. Yeah. A little more bank. There you go. Feel the G's. Set them in. Yeah. And make it steady. Look at the ball. A little uncoordinated. So just a little right pedal. Just a fuzz. Lay your foot a little harder on it. There you go. Now, as you add that pedal, you're at that <laughs> counter with your hands. There you go. Not too much. Okay. Weight on it. Right about now. Left pedal. Lower it. And level. Great. Pull the power back. Swipe to two. Swipe to trim downward. Um, well, altitude was... Okay, it was a little wonky. Got a little, got a little off on that. It's all right. Let's try it again. Do you want to go to the left again, or let's go to the right and go to the left after it? Uh, whatever you would like. Yeah. Let's go to the right first this time. Let's see if we can get it squared out. That's good. So we're at our 100 miles per hour. I will get used to saying that. <laughs> Are we going right again? Yep. To the right. Nobody over here that I can see. All right. Here we go. Yep. So we're starting a high. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, a little over 25. Okay. Yep. So go ahead. A little late. There you go. Right rudder. Push it. Let, don't let the nose come up so quick. There you go. Now lock it in. Look outside. Hold that sight picture. We're slightly descending, so pull back. Set some G's in. It's going to tighten the turn. Fill it. There you go. Now hold that. We'll do it. Maybe a little yeah, more. I gave you an ETE on the way Keep up your hand on the throttle, ride. please. There you go, because right. gravity can pull it out. Nice. Keep it right there. Hold it back. Nice. That's it. Lock it in. All right. Right about now start to roll out left pedal rolling it out a little little too much left pedal okay but that was really good a little low. We lost about 150 feet about 100 you start at 35 that's what we say we start at so all right level it off here trim it out so that it'll stay we'll just keep working our way this way when you're ready just go to the left one more and right. again you know it's a little bumpy not too too bad so. yeah here we go, ready? Yeah, up to the left. Left hand. Little nudge of power, so we're getting slow. There you go, great. Alright, there's those G's, set them in. Feel your butt sinking into the seat. Perfect. Little too much bank, roll it out just as fuzz. You're doing it to a commercial standard. There you go. Perfect. Here it comes. We're ready for the balloon and roll it out. Push it forward and right rudder. Nice. Well done. That was perfect. I felt good about that one. Yeah, let's go to the right again. Let's see if we can get her worked out here. Pep nose down right there. Nose down a little more. Still nose high. Push that nose on down. Yep, there you go. Don't fly with the trim. Fly with your hands. Remember, gotcha. use that Roger, trim to Roger. help you. All right, when you're ready, to the right. To the right. Clear. Here we go, to the right. All right, one, two. Throw it on up, a little more bang. Right there, perfect. Little right rudder and a little opposite aileron when you put it in, and then add that pitch up. Look at your attitude, see how low that nose is? Yeah. Yep, just set her, don't roll it out. There you go. go. Perfect. Door keys to the field. Perfect. Lock that in. All right, descend it. Pull back. Okay, wait Get a little closer. Right about there. Roll it out. Not too much left rudder. Good right there. Climb us back up. And roll those wings level. Just roll them right out on the stacks. So roll the right a little bit. There you go. Good. You got air blown on you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, make sure. I'm using my, I'm helping cool my iPad. All okay. right. Stacks are dead ahead. Yep, so turn. Let's do a 180. We'll clear it. Let's go back out toward uh, Morgantown. Point that way. So pretty much a 180 so, from here. Okay. So you let, just go to the right and stay away from Clarksburg's airspace. We're All right. semi close to it. I'll go ahead and call Falcon traffic. Make sure nobody's out in the practice areas. This is one of our, where we practice at all the time. Falcon Ops, uh, 352 Lima is in the west practice area, just north of the stacks. Falcon Ops. 3,500. Alright. 
Good, so now let's work our way into slow flight. All right. So for slow flight, let's reduce the power to about 2,000 and turn the car beat on. So anything under 21, we need to have that on. And today's like today, humid. It's a little hot for carb ice, but just if it were like 10 degrees cooler out, it would have been a perfect day for carb icing. So about 80 degrees and super humid, see how? Yeah. Good, so maintain 3,500, add a little power up and maintain 90 knots for me. 90 knots? Yeah, so just whatever power it takes to keep me... So 100 miles per hour? Yeah, 90 miles per hour. 90 I miles will per break hour. myself of that. All right, turn to the right. See the smokestack's kind of way off in the distance. kind of hard to see. Or you can use Fairmont, either way. All right, not so steep, about 20 degrees or so. There you go. As you slow, your stall speed increases with bank angle. Roger. So just use like that tall building off the left. I guess that's West Banco or something. Yeah, I see it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So a little, little fast. Yep, pull the power back and just trim it to fly level. So we're still climbing some. Yeah. Now take a picture of this in your head. This is level flight. Okay. All right, so we're drifting to the left. So turn to the right some. Good. Now let's go ahead and put 10 degrees of flaps in. We're under our flap speed of 100. All right, so just 1-2. 1,000 to 1,000. Good. We got 10 degrees of flaps in. Let's reduce the power a little bit and slow to about 80 miles per hour. Yep, maintain 3,500. Great. All right, let's go second notch of flaps. And slow to 70 miles per hour. One, two. I want to go ahead and just say 30 degrees. 30 degrees yeah, flaps, okay. Because 40 is, this thing will never fly on a day like today at 40 degrees flaps. All right, slowing it down to 70 miles per hour. Good, through 70, go 30 degrees flaps. That's good right there, 75 is close enough. And Ooh, one, two. two one, that's 30 degrees of flaps. That's it. And then maintain 60. Uh, miles per hour. Six zero miles Six per hour. Six zero, yep. And 3,500. So pitching for airspeed now. So we're fast, so we pitch up. Okay. Watch, you got to lay on that right rudder. Lots of torque yeah, when we're slow. Yep. So, and adding power to maintain our altitude. Very good. Gotcha. So we're maintaining pretty nice. So if we take another little snapshot, 1,900 RPM gives us level flight and slow flight. Okay. Any less, we'll descend. Any more, we'll climb. And just to prove it, add it up to 2,100 RPM. We're descending a little bit now. All right, yep, keep those wings level. There you go, trying to chase it. Just, it seems like it needs the right angular on almost all the time. Like, uh, it might have something to do with, you know, that one being the yeah. way it is. Yeah. Yeah, a little so right. See it trying to roll yep, in? there's 60. Great. And that has something to do with the torque, too. There's a torque effect of rolling and yawing. Right. Great. So now, let's do a 180, turn back, and face the stacks. No more than about 10 degrees of bank in slow flight. So it's all right rudder right now. You can take your left foot off, and it's just a matter of releasing or adding right rudder. And you'll have to add power, because as we turn, we lose vertical lift. So we roll some bank out a little too much, about 10 degrees. Okay. A little more. There you go. Great. Looking outside, slightly descending, add some more power. Yeah. Great. Yep, keep that turn coming, little right rudder. Perfect. It's really slow in slow flight. I'll say. Yeah. Fitting, huh? Good. Right at 60 miles per hour, 3,500. All right, roll it out. So lots of right rudder as you roll to keep those pointed right off the nose. And that's the, that'll tell you how much rudder to use. Good. 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 You've only lost 50 feet. That's perfect. Don't worry about gaining it back, so keep those wings level. Don't let us roll off. Okay. So it's whatever the airplane needs, you give it to it. That's a good concept to learn. This airplane needs a couple <laughs> nuances, you know. They all have nuances. Yeah. So 
to get good at flying everything, I've kind of come up with this mentality of giving it what it needs. If it doesn't need it, it doesn't need it. If it needs it, it needs it. Yeah. So it, this, it, it seems silly, but it'll help you in the long run flying different airplanes. Good. So hold that right there. Let's reduce the power to 1,500 RPM and keep those stacks right off the nose. Yeah, maintain 60 not, miles yeah, per hour. Yeah, 60 miles per hour, and it's going to start about a 500 foot per minute descent. Probably a little more. So we'll let it descend. Yep. We want 500 feet per minute. We're going to induce a power off stall. Okay. So remember, this thing is trimmed for 60, so it's going to really rare up on you. Yep. So remember on the recovery is powerful, carb heat off, release a little pressure. Okay. Flaps up to 20. Okay. When you're ready, go ahead and go idle on the power and pitch up to induce a stall. Yep. Keep it stacks right off our nose, wings level. Yep, stacks with the feet, and then wings level with the horizon. There you go. Turn it. Stall horn. Keep pulling. Here it comes. There it is. And power to full. Yep. Car beat off. Flaps to 20. And then pitching for the horizon. Keep on that rudder. Look at the ball. Look at your ball. Yep, I see it. Yep. So, you know what an uncoordinated stall gives you? <laughs> A spin. Okay. So that's why, uh, you know, there's two things you need to learn to say to be a flight instructor. More right rudder. And yeah full power. Alright, there's a climb. Yep, so now so flaps to, to 10. 10 degrees of flaps. That's there's good. 10. That's pretty well out. We're still climbing. That's good, and we're above and rotation. We're above rotation speed, so all the way out. Yep, flaps are up, so it might be, they seem like they're going to retract faster, so maybe just do one second. Okay. Because think it does have wind flowing across it, it'll want to retract quicker. Roger. So just go one, two for the second notch, and three for the third, and then they verify. Good job. Good, so just keep that climb coming. That's pretty nice. We're getting a climb at, you know, almost 500 foot per uh, minute at 3,500. Under 80 knots, though. Yeah, for 80 miles per hour. It might just be what a VY miles is. Per hour. The book says 85, but 80 is working better. So as your speed, de or your your weight decreases, so does the speeds Makes for that sense. particular sure. thing. Okay. Uh, so that is a maximum gross weight, 85 miles per hour. I see. Which I would hate to see this thing at maximum <laughs> gross weight. I don't think it'd get off. No, it probably could. Bridgeport. Good. So there was our uh, power off stall. Uh, while we're here, just reduce the power and slow me to rotation. So yellow line. And keep me pointed at the stacks there. Okay. Go ahead. The wind is actually coming from the west. That's why we're getting blown this way a lot. You're facing the same heading, but... All right. 3,500. We'll reduce to rotation speed. Yep. So just keep carb heat on now. Good. Yeah. Just keep that altitude and we keep reducing the power. And when you get to rotation, I want you to add it to 1900 RPM and pitch up to induce a power on stall. Like okay. we're taking off. We right. Stupid. Left a, took her hand off the throttle and it creeped out on us and right. they, we end up stalling. Thank goodness, got to come way out to get there. That's good right there, keep it level. Pull, pull, pull. Getting heavy, huh? Yeah. All right, just hold that weight in your hand, good. Go ahead and add it up to 19, and start pitching up. There you go. Right rudder. Got lots of right rudder on this one. And remember, the recovery on this is full power, and yeah. slightly lower the nose and turn the car feet off. Yeah. Stall horn. Yep, holding. Now look out your window to tell if you're turning. And keep those wings level. Yep, pull, 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 pull. Keep pulling. Just keep progressively pulling. There, there it, is. it is. Full power. And Car beat off. You don't have to dive it, so get that nose up a little more. There you go. So we're a little quicker on that full power once you see okay. it. Did you feel it rolling to the right? I did. That meant we have a little too much right rudder in. Okay. That means this wing is slower, which makes sense. If you yeah. put right rudder in, it's slowing it down, and this one's increasing I the see. speed, so we'll roll. And and this is not going to do anything in that gotcha. because the wings are technically. So I should just come out with less, less right rudder. This little less rudder, right? Okay. That's correct. Great. And turn Good back job. or. Uh, yeah, let's turn around. Let's start. Uh, go the other direction. Yeah, let's work our way back toward Fairmont. Left hand okay with you? That's good with me. Just watch for Clarksburg Airspace. We got a little room on it. Should I go to right then? It doesn't matter. Go ahead and turn the left. Just make it about 20 to 30 degrees. Not too much rudder. I like that you're leading with your feet. That's a problem a lot of guys don't have. It, that's not a bad problem in this case. Good. So I know we talked earlier about simulated emergency procedures. Yes, sir. So, 
the, before we move on from stalls, I'll ask you, do you feel comfortable with those? Yeah. We got little things to work yeah, on, but yeah. you're still. Is this where, I don't know what my. That's good right here. Try like a, there, there's there's Fairmont. This is good, just parallel it. Okay. Good, so simulate, you always want to be looking for a landing spot. You can pull her back, good. I always want to look for where you're going to set this thing down. I know it's awful, pessimistic, blah, blah, blah. You've got one engine, and sometimes things go wrong. Hopefully you catch it on the ground before you get up here. Right. A quick check of everything before we go on. Oil pressure good. Oil temp's great. Right in the middle on a hot day. Yeah. So that tells me that running at six, six and a half should be fairly good. Okay. All right. Look at my white. Look at my uh, death grip. Yeah. I'm gonna work. Your, I'm gonna work on that. Grab your pencil here. I don't know if I got one. I don't have any wood pencil. I don't think. That's all right. I just got ink pens. All right. Yeah, that'd be real good. Crushing ink pen. Uh, uh, ink all over yeah. the place. Alright, so emergency procedures. There's a couple that we can talk about. One is an emergency descent. So that is like we got smoke fuel in the cockpit. We got to get this thing on the ground right now. We don't know what it's coming from. So in that case, we're not going to do it. We'll do it another day. It would be power to idle. Car heat on, obviously. And then full flaps. Roll into a 45 degree bank and ride the top of the flap speed. I'm sorry, no flaps, 45 degree bank, uh, riding uh, top of your green arc, so 140. Okay. I'm used to doing a retractable gear airplane. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's it's really steep, and it's that like, is steep. you'll be down, you'll be pegging this thing out, it'll probably go in reverse. Sounds terrible. It's a great time. Ears popping and all. So in this event, so say right now you were losing engine. Yeah. So where would you go? Uh, a field. Yeah, uh, so find me one. Well, it could be anywhere. That guy over there, maybe. You're looking for the flattest, yeah, longest strip that you can find. That's got a lot of knobs on it. Let's just make a, you know, say we did lose it. We're not going to pull it yet. So go ahead. Let's do a little 180 to the right. And you can you can turn. It's it's not going to hurt anything to turn. Once we, you know, lose the engine, you just got to make sure you maintain that best glide speed. If you turn, you're going to lose more altitude. That's just. A, that's a thing, so make sure you pick your spots wisely. We've got lots of high tension line under yep, us here, yep. so that probably would not be ideal. Beautiful golf course right here. Who am I hearing? Uh, you're here in this one. See the golf course off our nose? Yeah. So that would be prime time. Big long greens, if yeah. you can think with me on that. There's one over here on our right, kind of down below us, yeah. if you can see it. Yeah. It runs this way by the road. I do see that. That would probably, and I've actually used that one before. We've got a couple behind us, so flat, unobscured, preferably near people. Not into people, right. near people. Right, understood. <laughs> yeah. So, if you can land in a guy's field near his house, that's great. That'll help you out. He can help you, potentially. Because if you land out here in the trees in the middle of nowhere, right. it's a pain in the rear. And you know, that's... Sometimes it's your only option, and in that case, you got to kind of apply a couple different rules. And there's different techniques on how to land in a uninhabitable or non-conducive to a good landing environment. So, like, say right now, so I want to say simulated engine failure. Okay. All right. So you have simulated lost your engine. So first thing is pitch Pitched for your 80, glide. So and trim for hour. it. If you trim for it, you don't have to worry about it as much. Good. Air speed is 80. Okay. Now we find our best landing site. I, I remember it now. Uh, Air speed. Right, right there. Best place. Yep. That, so that. set yourself up like a traffic pattern. You've got tons of altitude, right? Yeah. That's what a lot of guys run into. They'll pick something, but they'll turn too quick on it. And then they'll overshoot it. I see. So. I see our field. I'm. Yep. Still you, do you see the golf course, or do you see a field over here? I'm right? looking at that field right there behind the gold barns. Okay. That works. It's uphill slightly, but I, I think it can work. I see a power line pole running across the first bit of it. Yeah, I've so touched that, down after that. Yeah, good. So if you want to go ahead and start turning to it. I'll try not to put us too low because this thing does not like to climb out. Yeah, thank But just so that we can practice. You know, we will get kind of low, so don't let it scare you. For our traffic, 3852 Lima is about three miles to the north, I'm sorry, to the southwest. We're doing a simulated engine out at currently 2,800. So we see how high so we are. We have to come down. We have to more. slip. So do the S turn out through here, like looking for towers, that kind of thing. 
And see here this, if we do an S turn and come back the other way, we set ourselves up nice for a second landing point here on the right. I want to clear our engine to make sure she's still doing okay. Doing good. You want me to snake all the way around 360 or? Yeah, just go ahead and start turning back to it. You see it there? No. Off your right? Oh wait. yeah, now I do. Good. Just do it 80 knots. Yeah, looking good. But maintain oh that my gosh. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. Not a huge fan. Uh, you got to practice it. Good. So there we go. We can go full flap, slip it in. We've got that made. Yeah. Right? Yep. So let's just go ahead and turn back out through here where there's no trees or anything. Roll it out through here. And climb us away. Power's yours. Real slow on adding it up. There you go. Okay, go full. Car beat off. Yep. Very good. So see, we could. You know how to slip? We'll work yeah. on those later. Yeah. I know you've probably opposite, done the uh, opposite rudder. Opposite rudder and aileron yeah. inputs. And he'll drop like a rock. So great. That is it. And we've covered most, all of our upper air work stuff. So we've got those things pretty well introduced and nailed down. We can move into some ground reference stuff next time. But for today, okay. let's go knock some landings out. How you say? I say, let's do it. All right, let's go to Bridgeport or you want to go to Fairmont? No, I, I would rather do them at Bridgeport if that's okay right, with you. So let's go, that's more than okay. So let's go ahead and turn back to the left. Okay. Bridgeport will be on a, about a, a southerly heading. So just take up a south, about 20 degrees of bank. You don't have to whip around at 30 all the time, unless you really want to, but it's completely up to you. Your passengers may not enjoy that as much as you do <laughs> fair enough all right let's go ahead and get our information right quick so right about there is clarksburg see it off just off the right of the nose uh i a do a couple of white buildings yeah, yeah I, I do that's the I airport do. so i changed it it's one two seven eight two five good watch it Alpha, but what is going on? Yeah, our information Papa, one nine five three zero, wind variable at five, visibility one Nothing zero. Nothing with that radio. Two clouds, three thousand nine hundred. Two clouds. Right, don't, don't climb anymore. Skipper at three thousand five hundred. Two point two. Only at two thousand six hundred. I'm sorry. Yeah. Climber up. Climber to three. Notice to Airman Clarksburg, DME out of service. Runway two one ILS out of service. I can't hear that at all. Out of service. Five point eight nautical miles. Here's the top one. One nine or six three MSL. The disorder information for West Virginia and surrounding areas. You can't hear that at all. I mean, it's barely like, there. Please advise an initial Man. contact. You have some of it may be my new cable down here. It's cranking me, dude. You want to take the airplane from yeah, me? Yeah, I'll take the airplane. Clarksburg Tower yeah, information popper. Yeah. One nine or five three zero. Wind variable five. Visibility uh, one zero. Few clouds three thousand eight hundred. Few clouds four thousand eight hundred. Temperature two nine or two point two zero. Altimeter three zero one seven. Nothing. Visual yeah. approach runway yeah, two I mean, one in use. Notice to Airman Clarksburg DME out of service. I can turn it up. Out of service. Tower light out of service. 5.8 nautical miles east southeast. 19 or 63 MSL. Has the disorder information for West Virginia. Yeah, Finding areas here. available on high watts. Flight service frequency is advised on initial contact. You have Papa. We have Papa. They're landing 2 1. So, so. so you could go ahead. I've got tower popped in for you. Okay. We're 6 miles. 6 miles to the north. north. Yep. Inbound for the option. Okay. With Papa. Clarksburg Tower, Skyhawk 385 to Lima. We're six miles to the north with Papa inbound for the option. Skyhawk 385 to Lima, Clarksburg approach, Clark, 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 Clarksburg Tower, Clarksburg Altimeter 3017 ident. 3017 ident, 385 to Lima. That's a little red, say yep, a little red. Yep, hit it. Good, so we can do our descent checks. Mixture's rich, power is desired. Carburetor heat as required. We'll just leave it off for now. And, and five two Lima, I then observe, make straight in runway two one clear to land. Straight in, runway two one clear to land, three eight five two Lima. Great, so just keep flying where you're going. Just get us nice and centered up for straight in. And then we'll run the before landing. So mixture's rich. Fuel selectors on both. Yep. Carburetor apply before closing the throttle. We'll have it on well before then. Okay. Flaps. Uh, are going to be as desired, and then the normal landing. Touchdown with the mains first, roll out, minimum braking. So we'll do just a touch and go, so no need for braking. We'll Sounds take our time good. to clean it up. There will be probably a right crosswind if it, because of the winds are from the west. 
So that's going to be aileron into the wind. Yep. And, and this is our like just to maintain level flight, we have to do this much. Right. So, so a little more than a little that. more than that. Yeah. Go ahead and start turning in and reduce your power. Doesn't have to be real steep. Get that nose down some. We'll start descending. Good. Any reduction of power, if you're already trimmed, it's going to cause you to descend. There you go. Go ahead and just pull it about 2,000 and get the car heat on. That's one less thing we have to worry about. Ooh, high. Good. Yep, so we're pretty high. We'll be looking for the uh, happies to come in here. So just reduce that power maybe even more. It's gliding pretty nice. Great. And just keep me on center line. So out here we crab. Basically what that means is the runway faces this way. We're going to face off to the right of the runway to keep over the center line. Roger. As we get closer, we slip. So usually in the round out to the flare is when we transition from crab to slip. Some guys like to slip all the way in, some guys crab and then slip. But nonetheless, you have to get the nose, the airplane flying straight down the runway with right, the slip before right. you touch down. Because that, that's why we're feeling that little side sloshing deal. Good, so we're slightly left to center, so turn to the right, maybe 10 degrees or nah, maybe 5 degrees. There you go. So we got four wide on the Pappy, way high, so we can just reduce that power on back and we let her crank right on down here. Got time for a couple on the circuit here, then we'll go back to Fairmont and it's pretty much the exact same thing as last time, just kind of re, you know, affirming some things and. Yep. Good, good, good. Yep, so just let her keep coming on down. 85 knots works. Yeah. Maybe just a fuss low. Aim for about 90 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. I will uh -huh. get it in there. There's 90. Yep, so we're drifting to the left. So See keep, it. Yep. So in this case, you know, when we're crabbing, wings level and it's kind of just pointing off to the something off in the to the side that keeps you on the center. So keep that nose down. It's gonna get bumpier as we go down. Alright, over the plateau. Go ahead and get your first notch of flaps in, that'll help bring us down a little slower. Okay. Yep, one, two, perfect. Yeah, pull it. Power's probably already all the way out. Feels like it is. All right, good. Let's get us down and pitch for about 85 miles per hour through here. We're going to aim for 75 on final, so you're red line. Okay. All right, second notch of flaps. One, two, let it off. It kind of takes a second. I see once that. You. So now speed? Uh, wait for it. About 80. So oh, we're every we're a little under, so. 80 miles per hour. That's fine. It's just a knot. All right, we'll wait for our third notch until we can make the runway, or at least the infield, which we can from here. So you can go full flap, 30 degrees, one, two, that's good. Perfect. Now, see that light coming in? Yep. Rip, Pitching rip. for 75, powering. There you go, start adding that power up. Power, 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 power. And what you're wanting to do is hold those white blocks in the same spot on your windscreen. Them descending, or coming up on the windscreen, add some power. Add some power, good. All right, let the nose down. And this is where the landing's gonna get fun. Yeah. So go ahead and start stepping on your left rudder to line the nose up okay. and adding right aileron. So, perfect. See how we're flying this way now? Yeah. There you go, right there. Reduce the power slowly. A little less left rudder. All right, power all the way out. Pull, pull, pull. Just hold it, hold it. Pitch, 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 pitch. Ooh. Not Up bad, right? Butar. All right, get us on the center line. Ooh, hi. I hate and that feeling. Add this all the way into the wind. Five two Lima, we'd like to uh, go back out for the option. We got time. Yeah, we got time. Go. Here we go. Five two Lima, right turn one able, runway two one to active V Alpha. Two one V Alpha, five two Lima. Did he clear for the option? He early? did earlier. Yep, he did. All right, we'll just stop here. Taxi off. Yep. Oh. To the right or to the left? I don't to the right. Airport. Yep, Echo, and then it'll be up Alpha. Is this, which slow, is is this slow enough to turn? Yeah, this is about the fastest you want to. Okay. Feels like a right brake's a little squishier than the left, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Good. 
Oh, this is good. We got a full length takeoff. We got it's four forty five. Yeah, we got to get back for you. That's fine. If you just want to take off and we'll go back. That he cleared us via Alpha, right? Yep. So Alpha's to the right. We'll yeah. be taking two one. Just slow down a little bit. And after landings, usually I stop. But since we're already rolling, we'll hey, just. Hey, carpet. I turn carpet off. Is that okay? Yep. Carpet comes off once you're on the ground. Open this dang door. Get some airflow in yonder. So. And then flaps up. So it's getting me over on the center line. Stick to it like glue. What did uh, so? What did he tell us though? He was now? saying he got our tail number mixed up. First off, he said five eight Lima. Where are you going? And then uh, I thought that's who he called us. Uh, he might have been talking to somebody else. Where are you parking? Is what he asked. So where's the? Uh, we go all the way up here. Right? Yeah, all, all, the all the way down to the end. And here I want to use every inch. Normally I would take an intersection and in a little higher performing airplane, but there is a big mountain off the end of the runway. Yeah. Sorry. What are you sorry about? My center line. Uh, it's all right. You gotta. So here's another thing: the way you hold your ailerons as you're taxiing. Oh yeah, end so of the wind, right? Not so always. It's a tail. It's a quartering tail. It's a tailwind now. So I you dive the elevator away. forward, and then dive and then to away. To the right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Nice. It'll actually help you control a little better. It's kind of sometimes negligible depending on how heavy the airplanes are. That kind of thing. So did he know we were taxiing back to go again? Yeah, yeah, it's the same guy. He's running ground and tower right now. And once we get past the hotel, if you just want to say five two Lima, we'll be ready at the end, and he'll clear us to take off before we get there. All right. So we'll just make sure everything's where it needs to be before we go. Fuel's on both. Trim is set for takeoff. Flaps are up. Mixtures for power, car beat, yeah. and then our lights, which we we just leave them off. Uh, normally I turn them on. But again, I don't know how this doesn't have a gen, an amp meter or anything in it. And typically, these old generators don't do too hot. All right, you can call him when you're ready. All right. Then just turn me to the right. A I can bit. just tell him I'm short of right. Yeah, to say runway two. Short, short of two one, ready to go. two one, ready for takeoff. Clarksburg Tower, Skyhawk three eight five two Lima, short of runway two one, ready for takeoff. Three eight five two Lima, Clarksburg Tower, runway two one, cleared for takeoff. Make left, close traffic. Like three, uh, sorry, three five two Lima is clear. Take off two one, and we'll actually be a northbound departure. Sorry about that. Number five two Lima, Roger, right or left downwind departure approved. All right, we'll make a right downwind departure for five two Lima. All right, All right. Uh, it's clear left, clear left. Yeah, right. I'll go ahead and turn taxi light on just because I just like that. Can't handle it. I thought I could. <laughs> Okay, we can roll take off on this one. We only have 8,000. Right, we should have enough. Yeah. So we have aileron slightly into the wind, yeah, to the right. There. Yep, add a little power, get me over on center line. Okay. It looks like it's, yep, it's kind of drifting back and forth between right down the runway. So just very little a right aileron. Yeah. Are you, are you a good? A little more. I'm good. Feet a little to more the now. Floor. Yep, let's hit it. Full power. This old girl is the struggle bus. <laughs> Yeah, just hold those feet right. 60. Yeah, start easing it up. Just hold it right there. Let her come off when she's happy. A little more now. 70. Then. Yep, there it is. Good. So in this case, now we transition to our crab. So you're on the ball. Yep. And we're going to pitch for on. 80. 80, you think? Yeah. So we might have to add a little nose up trim. So lock that in. See this little... That's a lock. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Just whatever it takes to get it up to 80. Yeah. She's climbing better now. Yeah, she likes it. See, 500 foot per minute. That's pretty typical of a 172. There's 80. Good. A little right rudder. There you go. Then we'll make a right downwind departure. But not yet. Yeah, I wouldn't go yet. We got Here, it. we don't have to worry about the whole, you know, turn before traffic pattern. We can turn before we reach pattern altitude. I just like to I have more altitude, to. That's yeah. That's exactly right. So, you, have you ever heard of the... Uh, I like 800 feet. Yeah. You ever heard of the impossible turn, trying yeah. to turn back to the runway? Below 1,000, it's going to be really hard to do. There are guys who can do it in small airplanes, but something like this that I'm not super duper familiar with, it would be something I'd like to try. Great. All right. When you're ready, about night. When I get to 1900, that's 300 below pattern. That's 
So 700 feet, that's usually when I turn. Yep. All right, nice, easy. Yep, 10 to 15 degree bank to the right. And just add a little right pedal. Yep. One thing I have noticed, these older 172s like this, they have a little, they're a little mushier on the controls than the, the newer ones. I see. Hopefully your camera's still recording and we can get a nice landing shot in. Yeah. I felt less than good about what I should have, I wish I was doing. When I felt what you were doing, I was like, that's what I wanted to do. What's that? Well, I just, a couple of your control inputs that I felt, I was like, I knew that's that. That's okay. And that's the whole point. If you can, I try to stay off the controls as much as I can because it does you no good for me to fly the airplane. The only right. way you're going to learn is through experience. So, you know, yeah, I'll do it in a, to keep the plane in a safe manner. And you can feel what I'm doing. I try not right. to be real. But getting your hands and feet to do what your mind wants it to do and actually doing it is, you know, two totally different exactly. things. Exactly. So let's just fly the interstate. You can just fly right up through there, and that'll put us right at Fairmont. How just high do you normally 25. Go? 25 yeah, good. 25 is good. And once we get up through here, we can pull the power back a little bit. Now this time he did not ask us to uh, report clear. Report clear. In that case, when we're clear, we'll just let him know. Anyway. All right. And because there may be traffic coming inbound that he might be wanting to keep us separate from. Roger. 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 Okay. What's up, pilot Cam? Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to go home and make an episode tonight. Sweet. Thanks for fitting me in on Saturday. I'm trying to get going here on this stuff, so I'm yeah, glad man. you were able to fly. come down and fly a little bit. Fly every day but Sunday, and some Sundays I even fly. Yeah. Yeah, my wife, she doesn't get to... I, I, don't, li I don't like working on Sundays. Yeah, one, I just understood. like having one day off. Absolutely. And uh, she holds me to it, which is... That's good. That is good. It keeps me from working myself to death. So what I... If you know, I do fly on Sunday sometimes, but I do it. I, I have to tell her it's for leisure, and it really is because I, I don't really get to fly for fun very often. Yeah. So I really, uh, it, it's hard to kind of justify flying on Sundays, even though I'm doing it for fun. Because to her, it's my work, but right, right. It's also my my hobby too. So right. It is a. It's tough when those it overlap, is, isn't it? it it's the best be. one. Well, it is. It is a flip But in best. times like that, you know, yeah, it's it like. It is the toughest. It's a little hard. So I remember the, uh, I remember the pattern. What's Fairmont? 122.8? 22.8. That's it. Second we'll one. just be ready and stand by. There you go. And then. Um, and it, I was going to show you. See how it says Poi 25K? Yeah. If you push it in, uh, it does like by 50s. And oh, then you gotcha. pull it out, it does by. So just a little. Gotcha. Yeah little fun fact for you. You know, in all my simulator airplanes, I have fancier radios with us. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, Jay. Touch screens. I think Jay will put us in a big... Uh, 750. Th yeah. Have think. you ever seen the 750s? Oh, it's huge. Yeah. Or, uh, I think it's time for an upgrade, Jay. Get us a nice little 430 and see if we can hear anybody on the radio. Number 52, Lehman Freaks, you change for your See you later. Uh, thanks a lot. See you later. Five, two, later. Yep. So we are. I'm gonna go ahead and say five miles. I can see the airport. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, we're six. Six. To the south. Yeah. East, so southwest. At two thousand five hundred. Okay. We'll land in two three. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima, six miles to the south of the field inbound landing two three. Fairmont. Good. See the see Walmart stuff over here on the left. The uh, clump of buildings. Yes, I think so. So there's. Okay, you see NASA. Yeah, I do see NASA. Go to the, oh, to the right. Straight to right. Yeah, see yeah, that big yeah. flat thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, just to ride the flat things the runway. That looks like a runway to me. If you can spot her out. I feel like I have to constantly fix my hair. This wind is like blast me, but it feels yeah, you so know good. you're on camera. I know. I really don't care. I, <laughs> I do a little bit, I have to be honest with you. Well. That's one of my things, I can't stand to look. Come on, Toyota, 7-6 Delta, left base, 2-3, Fairmont. Alright, 
We got a guy on left base. Yeah, patterns at 2,000. You're gonna start, just ease your power out and work your way down. I'm just looking for him. Just leave your taxi light on. We'll go ahead and run another before landing check. Mixture's rich, selectors on both, carb heat, we'll get it on on the downwind, and then flaps as required. Fairmont, Travis, Travis, 76, Delta, final, 2-3, Fairmont. Final. Yeah. I don't see him, and he does not have ADSB. That's all right. Get used to it. For a little while. Lottie's. He might be on the ground. Uh-uh, he's on final. I see, what's the blue? That's got to be him. There's a huge, there's a plane moving, isn't it? I'm uh, having a hard time. I, I think so. There's a plane moving right to left down 23 right now. Oh, wait, that's the interstate. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. Yeah, that's the interstate. It was a semi truck, not oh, an airplane. Oh, my goodness. Come on. I got to edit that out. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, I got him barely. He's a little feller. Where is he? He's on final. He's just come across the river. Okay. I barely see him. All right, look right at the, he's right over the river right now, coming across the numbers. He's over the top of the numbers right now, touching down. <laughs> he is, either he's a weird color, he's rolling down the runway. I don't even see him. Yeah, he is hard to see, dude. What is he? I don't or know, it looks like it's a red airplane. Go ahead and descend, wow. 2000, make your call for the left down, wind two, three. Fairmont traffic, Sky 385 to Lima, entering uh, left downwind runway 23, Fairmont. Man, killing it on our car radios. Heat. Yep, car heat, please. And same with Blue 21. I'm going to just start assuming that and yes. just doing that. Yep, downwind item, that's usually in these type airplanes, is my car heat. All right, this is about the right distance, I feel like. Yep, for a, might be a fuzz close. Yeah, I so should be over that, the, over that hill over there. And remember, we got a wind from the west and quartering behind us. So one. Come on, Travis, 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 been around a tri pacer and never been up in one. A little slow, we're at 90. That's all right, so just touch the power. Really don't even have to leave we're the power. We're beaming the numbers, yep, so we might power well pull the power to 17 18, or 18. 17, first notch of flaps. One, two. And start that descent. Yep, before landing completes are checked. There's no clearance and beginning the descent two or 300 feet per minute. Yep, feeling pretty good there. About don't be afraid to get, you know, let's look for that 45 with the numbers. So high. Here, all right. Plenty good. Awesome. Yeah. So just I feel a little bit more, like maybe right about uh, that works. now. You think? Yeah. Go ahead. About 30, 30 degree, bank. degree bank turn. Maybe step a, on it. Just a little pedal or power. Sorry. Had, you said step on it. Maybe think pedals. Sorry. You're good. A little too much bang. Roll it out just a fizz. All right. Roll it out right about there. And call your base. Fairmont traffic, Scott 3852 Lima, base, runway 23, Fairmont. That next notch of flaps. Yep, produce power hundred. some. Ah, too much to manage. You got it. Notch of flaps, is that good for 20? Clear right. Go ahead and just say you're on final. Fairmont traffic, Scott 3852 Lima, final, runway 23, Fairmont. All right, looking for that guy, I don't see him. Clear on final, roll it in, 30 degrees of bank. Look out at your runway now and just manage how much bank to keep her centered up. Roger. Perfect. Let's leave it right there. All right, nice. Oil we'll weight on that last notch of flaps. We're pretty steep, and it's a right crosswind again. So looking at our windsock, it'll yeah. be right aileron, left rudder. Yeah. That's perfect. What you got? Pull we're, the power we're Pretty fast. All right. So just go ahead. Just reduce the power. All right. Now take that power and put it. Or flaps 30. One, two. Pull the power idle, idle, we'll glide from here. Pretty steep. Yep, keep her all the way out. All the way out. That little fast, that's okay, just let her float right on down. Yeah. Go ahead and start pitching up. Easy, easy, easy. Too hard, look down the runway now. Look down the left rudder, left rudder. 
little side torque. A little bit, but not bad. All right, on the brakes, pull, start pulling back on the stick. Help slow us down, and you'll feel it. Feel that right there? Yeah. Really yeah. puts some weight in that back wheel. Yeah. A little power up to a thousand. We'll be off here. Car beat in. Well done.